Hey guys, it's me, Jimmy. This is the newest, coolest place that the locals like to go to in Jakarta. It's called Pik, and it's the new Chinatown. That's right. Indonesia recently developed a new Chinatown in Jakarta, where they have hundreds of food vendors that come from different cultures, of course, mostly Indonesian and Chinese. And because it's so new, they had a lot of modern, trendy restaurants with immaculate hygiene, and of course, with delicious food. And guess what? Today, I'm here to fully experience their amazing food. But before I do, a lot of you guys reached out to me after watching my videos, asking me how I'm able to speak in so many different languages. I'd like to tell you guys that I'm just special and I just know things magically. But the reality is, you have to spend some time using the right methods to learn the new languages. Now, I understand that this can be very time consuming and expensive too. But don't worry, because today's partner Rosetta Stone can help you with that. Long story short, it's a language learning app that I'm using to learn new languages. And hear me out. I don't know about you guys, but I always get bored sitting through a typical language class. But Rosetta Stone teaches by using pictures, audio from native speakers, and almost a game-like interactions. So it's actually a fun time for me. It's kind of like how I learned my first language as a kid. And I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by now, but I have a hard time pronouncing words in almost any language I speak. So my favorite feature is their pronunciation engine. That's been really helpful for my Chinese pronunciation. 男孩子 男孩子 Man, at this point, I might as well be Chinese. Rosetta Stone can be used on your desktop or as a mobile app, so you can get your lessons anywhere and anytime. So I personally use it when I'm taking a short break from work. Currently, their lifetime subscription is $149, discounted from $399. And that means for over 60% off, you have a lifetime access to a library of language lessons. So even if you wanted to start learning a new language every year, you don't have to pay a penny more than that for the rest of your life. Guys, the new year is here and it will be a fantastic goal to start learning a new language this year. I certainly plan on improving my Chinese. So do yourself a favor and use the link in the description to get your discount and start learning a new language now. Okay, back to Chinatown. I took a short walk around already. <sighs> Apparently there are two different Chinatowns in Jakarta now. And the place that I'm in right now, Pik, is a newly built tourist attraction Chinatown. Like the place is so new, it kind of reminds me of some of the fancy shopping malls in Korea. There's easily over a hundred food vendors here. I don't know what to begin with. Okay, why don't I start with something that is very China. I believe this is Hainan chicken. It's chicken served with seasoned rice. And it's really hard to go wrong with this. Oh, I hope that didn't hurt the chicken. No, it definitely didn't hurt the chicken. He's just taking a nap. That looks like a nice and simple, pretty solid Chinese food. It is very simple, but the older I get, the more I realize that being simple and good is the hardest thing. It's just chicken with rice. Wow, it's actually really good. The touch of cilantro, little dried garlic on top, and there's these eggs too. I feel like the chicken is not as tender as it can be, but that's okay. It's still very tender, it feels fresh. That chicken died for a good cause. The portion wasn't huge, but it was clean, tasty, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. I only just got here, but I felt like this place has such a great vibe. It had food and so many little places to visit too. There's a store named Saranghe, and they sell Korean stuff, I think. Ooh, I sarang this so much. Okay, back to the food journey. This time, I want to go Indonesian. How about I try some nasi goreng? So I found this one nasi goreng vendor out of many, and the photos of their food looked amazing. And I also like their uniform. Oh, no way, they have, they have bulldog bokeh men here too. <laughs> blogger. Blogger, yeah, Korean blogger. South huh? Korea. Huh? South, South Korea. Korea, yeah, good Korea. <laughs> Is mi goreng better or nasi goreng better? Nasi goreng. Oh, which one's the best nasi goreng? He recommended me nasi goreng gila, which has sausages in it. Thank you very much. Thank you, have a nice day. You too. You know, I'm not an Indonesian food expert, but you know what I can tell you guys? This nasi goreng looks bomb as hell. It's got these sausages, eggs, cabbages. By the way, if you guys don't know what nasi goreng is, it's like the most popular Indonesian fried rice. Wow, this is, oh, this is really great. These chips that came with the rice is called Kripik. I thought it was kind of a weird idea to have chips with rice, but it went really well with nasi goreng. You know, I had nasi goreng before in other countries, like in the US or in Korea. They did not taste like this. In fact, they're not even similar. They have a really generous amount of sausages, and I really appreciate that. 
I think it's my first time genuinely enjoying nasi goreng, so I'm really glad I tried it. And you guys Indonesian, because I feel like this is a great representation of your country. Oh, there was a, quite a bit of oil that I just consumed. I'm gonna have to switch up, maybe try something sweet this time. Actually, I take it back. I wanna try this Chinese pork. It looks good to me, if you ask me. I believe these are all pork, just different parts. I wish they were like big fat cuts, but that's okay. I would say when it comes to the quality, this is actually really good food. So this is the pork belly, comes with the super crispy skin intact too. And I believe these are the skins. So it wasn't like super delicious, but I would say it was definitely up to the standards. I just wish the meat was thicker. I'm not trying to imply anything, but you guys know how when you go to a Chinatown and get their food, or getting food in general outside in Southeast Asia, sometimes you eat the food and you're like, oh, I don't know if it was smart to put that in my belly. But I feel like this entire street, their hygiene is pretty reliable and the food quality is also very good. Yeah, I think that was really solid Chinese food. If my Chinese ex was here with me, she'd be like, it's okay, I've had better in China. Also, why are you driving so slow? I know that many of you guys are from Singapore and I found something Singapore here. Yakun Kaya Toast. It's from Singapore? I decided to get their best-selling item called Kaya Toast. I mean, I'm not trying to be critical here, but I feel like it's something that you can easily make at home too. But maybe there's something special about the toast. If you guys are from Singapore, just let me know if this is Singaporean. It's like a sliced bread and they slice the extra thin. So it's like four layers instead of two. So it wasn't anything crazy. It just tasted like homemade toast. I'm not trying to say it's bad, but is this worth paying money for when you're outside in Chinatown? I'm not sure. Let's see what's on the inside. Butter and some kind of syrup. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see, mine came with this fiber. I'll just let them get away with it. I want to try some desserts this time. Something sweet and Asian like me. Mr. Employee here, he likes grass jelly signature the most. It looked really amazing in the photo, so I couldn't wait to try it. But of course, the reality sometimes betrays you and it's a lot smaller in real life. You know what this is like? This is like every possible boba topping that you can add, just thrown into a bowl. And there's like a scoop of ice cream on top. That's what it tastes like. Oh, it's got some mango too. Mm. It felt like the toppings were very good quality and they were very sweet. So yeah, I feel like it is worth getting. It's almost like a boba that comes in a bowl. And I think I heard my inner ABG speaking to me. You have to eat this and you have to make some fool pay for it. It's a shame that I couldn't find that fool today except for myself. Anyway, I think I can eat a little more food. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I could never get tired of getting more meat. That's my ABG trait too. How about I get a little more meat from this vendor? It looks like it's some kind of Indonesian Chinese barbecue. So there's two pieces of pork rib and two more pork skewers. This feels quite expensive for food in Indonesia, but I'll forgive them as long as they're tasty. They look good if you ask me. Let's get that pork belly skewer first. Okay, I give it to them. The food itself is really good. Oh yeah. Like the meat was pretty unbelievably tender. They gave me some lime. I take it, uh, you're supposed to squeeze the lime on top of the, the meat. In Korean, we call this pork belly samgyeopsal. When I was an obese boy, a lot of my friends used to call me samgyeopsal, which was really hurtful. Isn't it funny guys? At the time it was super hurtful, but now that I think of it, Samgyeopsal sounds extremely catchy as a nickname. Perhaps that could be my super villain name. I don't know what part of the pork this one is. So the other one that they had was more lean and hard. I wouldn't say it was less good though. The flavor was similar to the pork belly one, but ABG Jimmy likes hard and lean meat too. It came with some plain white rice, which was really great because the sauce on the skewers were really salty. And of course, these are pork ribs. I mean, I love barbecue pork ribs. So I really hope this doesn't disappoint me. Hmm, wow. Honestly, I was a little worried that it might be a little too tough. It's extremely tender. The barbecue sauce tasted just like the American barbecue sauce. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be different from that, but regardless, it tasted really great. That was a solid high protein dinner. 
I don't know what you guys think. I think there was a plenty of food now. But I have a little more space for desserts. Maybe like a good drink. <laughs> the kids love me. Hello. <laughs> I ran into one of my viewers as I was walking and he told me that I must try this iced durian. Iced durian how much? Uh, 30,000. 30,000? Okay. So this is a dessert made with shaved ice and durian juice, which I think is condensed milk with blended durian. And I thought this was shredded coconut, but it's actually shredded cheese. Can't really predict what it's gonna taste like, so let's try this. So what did it taste like? It tasted like super cold condensed milk with durian flavor, which is probably what it is. It is far from healthy, and with each scoop, I could feel my life expectancy rapidly dropping. But I didn't come to Chinatown to become a fitness model, and I enjoyed it a lot. I'll be honest with you guys, this is kind of an acquired taste. Some of you guys that don't like durian, you are not going to like it. By now, I'm kind of used to it. Okay, let's have one last drink before I go. So I found a store named Chewy. Chewy means cold in Korean. I don't know if it came from that, I think it might have. Which, which one do you like? You're better than original? Better than original? Okay, I believe you. Wow, a lot of ice cream goes in it, huh? Ice cream, milk, and he's picking up a lot of syrups. Let's pretend that we didn't see that. Thank you. So, lots of strawberry jam and ice cream and milk. That's really what it is. And little cookie crumbs too. That's a nice touch. I think that gentleman gave me the right recommendation. It actually tasted like drinking strawberry flavored yogurt. I had a lot of oily food today. So this was nice and refreshing. A perfect way to end the night. Okay, so there was a lot of food. I think there was plenty for one day. So what did I think? Lots of food options and I think they're pretty affordable too. Everything was really clean and I had a really pleasant experience here. Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine. And if you want to support me, you guys can go listen to my songs on Spotify or just watch my other videos. Till we meet again. Goodbye, guys. Once again, try Rosetta Stone. And come on, go watch my other videos, guys.